Hi, my name is Smith and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be sewing together the scraps from Tuesday to make a new piece of fabric to hopefully make some more jar openers. Let's get into it. Let me explain what I've got going on here. So I went ahead off camera and chopped up the fat quarters from my uh, bin on my bookshelf that I was telling you guys about. So those got all chopped up. And then I have three categories of scraps here. So I have um, all of the pieces that are about an inch to two inches wide that are the height of the jar openers. And then three different categories of larger pieces, which I'm gonna chop in half to add to this pile. And then I have odd shaped, not square off pieces. And then these guys are long strips. So the first thing that I wanna do is just work on one pile at a time. So I wanna work on these uh, smaller strips first, and I'm going to categorize them into uh, four categories, I think it is. So, or maybe three, uh, cool, warm, and earth tones, and then I don't know if we're gonna need a third category or not. Let's see how this goes. Um. All right, here is what I have so far. So um, these are the warm tones, cool tones, and earth tones. By sorting them in some way and fashion, when I sew them together, it won't look so mismanaged. Uh, let me go ahead, I had to, Put these to the side because this wasn't straight and then these guys i'm just going to chop down the middle uh, and then i'm going to add them to the piles and i'm going to chop these and add them to the piles as well now that i've got the mini sorted into categories uh, i'm going to go ahead and sort the big strips into the same three categories. Now that I have them sorted, I'm gonna go through each pile and make sure that they are um, squared off. And most of them are half the width of fabric so i'm going to make sure that they are all roughly the same length so that when i sew them together it'll be the same size piece of fabric roughly um, that is the next step warms earth cool there are not very many cool so what i think i'm going to do i don't know if i want to incorporate them like this one could easily go in here and then these guys could go yeah i'm just gonna throw them in with the earth okay so we've got two piles now uh warm and cool or earth tones and then for these little guys we have um three piles and then there's one additional pile of just like extra stuff that is random sizes random shapes triangles not the long enough pieces that are just gonna have to wait for another project um but for these guys what i'm gonna do is i'm not gonna sew two like patterns together but i'm gonna take them to, to the sewing machine and so in whatever order they come up in so this guy and then like i'll sew this guy onto him and then the next one and if there's duplicates like this one i'm gonna send it to the bottom of the pile this one's too thin i'm not gonna do that one um and then we'll go from there and i'm gonna use white thread minutes of sewing and here's the warm tones it's pretty long let's go on to the cool tones correction cool and earth tones let's go
saying? The, um, yeah, the, the earth and the, uh, my brain is so flustered. Earth and the cool tones sewn together. And by just happenstance, when I was like piecing colors together that matched, uh, we end up with three that are similar in size. So this is one of them. Here is another. And these obviously need to be trimmed up on the sides. And then here we go. So I have four of these now. One, two, three, four. And I, let's see if, how long this one is. Okay, so the one with the warm tones is definitely longer, but they're all pretty long. Let me measure them. This guy is 56 inches long. This one is 37. And 36 is a yard, so the, so far two over a yard. 41 inches, three over a yard. Last but not least, 45 inches. So we have four new yards of fabric. Four yards of fabric, and they range about, I would say 20 so inches across. So if I sewed them together, it'd be width of fabric. So two yards with the fabric, four yards half with the fabric. That's pretty impressive for not much work. This was just the extra cuts off of the jar openers and trimming them up straight to be straight lines and then kind of sorting them by color and ironing them. Uh, but I didn't like cut these to make this project. This is just making new fabric. So I don't have any plans uh, in mind for this fabric, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. What do you think I should make for them? Make with them. Uh, next, I'm going to go ahead and sew together the little pieces of fabric and I'll show you how that turns out. But I'm going to do that off camera because I think it's going to take way too long to do that. But I will be sure to fill you in on that. Update on the little pieces. Here are the ones that I didn't use that I didn't feel like just matched right, but we'll save those for later. And then this was my original plan. I thought I was going to like sew a bunch together and then cut them up. But then bigger pieces take longer to iron and there'll be more cuts and I don't know where the cut's going to be. So then I thought, uh, duh, get myself a jar opener that is cut properly and then I can just eyeball it and make sure it's a little bigger so then I can trim down. But you want to make sure that like none of the seams are close to the edge. So it took about three, sometimes four, uh, pieces. Like here's an example of four, uh, to two and two. I only used two patterns most three within a jar opener but now um like I, I finger press the seams but i need to go iron them and then i will show you all of the tops that i made here are the jar openers all pressed uh it made 26 tops and probably if i did the rest of these we'd be around 30 or so uh so this one counted as two because you know i'm gonna cut it in half all right and then here are the rest of the tops here's what they look like trimmed up this is round one i'll show you round two in a second and i botched one of them and miscut so this guy rip i need to add another side okay let me show you the other ones here's the last five which one is your favorite let me know in the comments down below I want to hear your opinion, please. When I make these tops into jar openers, do you think that these should be like premium or a special collection or uh, a higher price? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, do you think this was worth my time uh, between putting the big strips together to make the big yardage and what should I make in the comments down below? Or doing these little uh, tops, were they both a waste of time? Do you like them better than the normal jar openers? Uh, I will make them into jar openers and show you guys. Probably take me a couple weeks to do that. Um, subscribe so you can see that in the future. Uh, let me know what you think. I want to hear your comments. And then I'm going to throw these into a Ferrero Rocher container. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my shorts. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day.